Hello everyone, this is Moot, and welcome to our Worm Unlimited Worm Online tutorial series. Uh, I'm on the Mythmore server, and today we're going to be talking about survival, specifically how to actually make food. So we're going to make two different dishes today. The first dish for the noobs, uh, you, get, you start off with a pottery bowl, and we're going to learn how to make a stew. And then for the slightly more advanced, we're going to create a frying pan or we already created a frying pan and um, we're going to learn how to make meals. Meals are going to be the long-term benefits for eating. They give you more nutrition as we know. Nutrition correlates with the amount of skill gains and since uh, worm is all about skill gain, you're going to want more nutrition. Now here's a caveat for today. When you log off the server and if you have food in your inventory, when you log off it decays at an exponential rate. So don't log off with food in your inventory or you're going to come back with damaged food. With that, let's begin. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make a fire, like so, campfire. You're gonna open the fire, either right click the open or highlight and push the open button. And you're gonna go ahead and put your frying pan or your pottery bowl in there, get the pottery bowl nice and warm. I already have some food cooking so we don't have to wait, but I'm gonna go out here. We're gonna find a grassy field and we're gonna start foraging. Foraging is gonna look for um, uh, different berries and what have you uh, vegetables things like that now you can right click on the tile and you can click forage okay oh I just found one and these tiles reset I believe every server reset or 24 hours it looks like I found a rose seedling well I can't eat that I'm looking for a berry I'm looking for some sort of vegetable now if you don't want to right click you can highlight the tile like we have before right click the tile and then click forage down here or if you're like me bind G forage I love using hotkeys and you just go around and you push G. G, I found a pumpkin. Okay, that's picked clean. Oh, here's another one. And we can go ahead and queue up all these different actions. Well, it looks like I found a potato. Uh, I found a pumpkin. That's perfect for me. So I found a potato. I found a pumpkin. Now, you can make stew from putting two uh, berries together, such as strawberries or Lincoln berries or blueberries. But I prefer to use um, meat and fish and a crop, so like a crop like potato or veggie or stuff like that. So how do you get meat? Well, fortunately for us, we have this guy here. Oh, hey, buddy. My young hen that I found, and I'm going to target him. You target. Oh, I, you know, I have really bad internet connection tonight. Comcast for the win, I guess and you're supposed to attack but maybe that's actually a bug you can't attack him hmm okay well pretend that you killed him and you butchered him with your butchery knife um, and you come in here and you're like well i have my campfire going now my pottery bowl's all nice and warm go ahead and throw your potatoes and your pumpkin in there as well so you can throw your pumpkin your potato and you're gonna put your meat in there too. go ahead and just throw your meat in there and as your meats warming up now you can put this all inside the pottery bowl or the frying pan it'll warm up together but you know you can also do it individually so that you don't um, have to wait for it all to warm up and things warm up a lot slower in a campfire that they do a forge now if you're gonna make meals you want to use an oven that's gonna give you the least amount of difficulty and we'll talk about difficulty here a short bit as you know you can create a frying pan uh, by opening up by getting your nice hot lump and you're gonna just go ahead and right click the large anvil add to uh, crafting window drag your lump over and you can go ahead and create a frying pan a cauldron or a saucepan uh, that way so uh, that's how you create a frying pan but we are more interested in creating stew right so here's your pottery bowl uh, it's nice and glowing hot the pumpkins aren't hot enough but you just go ahead and uh, place your meat place your one vegetable in there and if you examine it okay right go oh, there it goes it's too fast you can examine it'll tell you what the difficulty is here but that was too fast I see if I take this out well, that's a casserole so you can go ahead and eat the casserole and you can see uh, it's too hot to eat you need to actually cool it down a little bit for the frying pan we want to make a meal so I'll go ahead and put my cooked meat over there and my potato and if you examine it 
right click examine it will tell you the difficulty is 27 now I'm told or at least I know that the difficulty of the mill will determine uh, what the quality or how high the quality of the mill may be according to your hot food cooking skill so hot food cooking is a skill that you have uh, which determines the quality of your meals my theory and from my knowledge that the quality of ingredients do not affect the quality of the meal but i've been told that it does i disagree i th i believe it's all about the qual uh, your hot food cooking not the quality of ingredients so you put the it will create a meal here we'll watch it um the cast oh there it goes the meal and it's 2.7 quality but it's too hot to eat right so what you need to do is actually take it out of the fire and just put it on the ground for a little bit okay drop on ground and you can just wait for them to cool down and as you're waiting for them to cool down you don't want them too cool you want them to be hot when you eat a meal you want it to be hot not searing hot that's too hot you can't eat that but when it's hot and the reason why is because you're actually getting more nutrition from a hot meal than a cold meal so to wrap it up we can create a stew when you first start off. It's easy to ascertain uh, or casserole for this metal because it's a meat and a fish. But a stew would be just be berries or a casserole with meat and a fish, uh, meat, fish, and a potato or a veggie or pumpkin. Check the Wormopedia for that. It's awesome. To create a meal, which is going to be the long-term benefit, you're going to put the same ingredients, a meat and a crop, inside a frying pan. And the meals for the long term will get you up to 100% nutrition, which is what you really, really are looking for. Um, that kind of covers it for us today. If you have any questions, go ahead and post in the comments below or send me a text on the Mythmar server or a personal message. And uh, yeah, I'll answer any questions. Thanks for watching.